Hey, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back. Uh, let's start the uh, second part of Portal for Bioinformatics series. Uh, it's not related to using any using Perl for any, you know, text edits and manipulations for especially for bioinformatics, but as in uh, learning initially like basic operations of, you know, uh, in Perl and in scripting generally. So, uh, if you don't know already how to open up the terminal, you can always go to Spotlight and type terminal and and there from there you can actually open up the terminal. I actually forgot to mention this in my first video, which I should have, but um, there you go. Now you know if you didn't know. Um, so, uh, let's open up uh, the, the initial script uh, we were edit editing. Uh, we actually wrote uh, in, the, in the first part. Uh, the first Perl.pl. Uh, I saved some pain and uh, actually add up some uh, variables and like a little bit more advanced script than than the initial script. So we already know we already print uh, printed hello world and we also actually printed how are you doing but I removed that and uh, for the ease of typing I just replaced my first variable with dollar uh, $x and the remaining variables dollar $y, z and so on and so forth. So uh, here as you can see uh, I initialize the variable x uh, with 5 mentioned in single quotes. Uh, actually I will explain, I intend to explain the difference between using double quotes and single quotes in this video. And as you can see, uh, I have um, assigned a value of 6 without any single or double quotes to uh, variable y here. And I assigned a, uh, assigned a value 7 between double quotes to variable z here. So I'm performing an arithmetic operations. Uh, I am adding uh, the value of x and y and assigning it to va uh, variable sum1 and I'm actually uh, adding y and z and assigning it to sum2. So I am printing um, sum1 and also after after printing sum1 I'm printing new line after printing new line I'm printing sum2 after printing sum2 and after printing new line. You can there are many different ways of actually writing Perl as I have mentioned in my first part. So as uh, as you can see you can actually print this way or print all together by removing commas and double quotes. So between I opened up a double quote here and closed one here and between these two double quotes um, you can print everything. Something I find it useful because I got used to it to use commas and print each value uh, once but if you find this method useful you can use this one. So uh, let's go and execute this script and uh, I will uh, explain the difference uh, between using single quotes and double quotes. Actually I haven't written any code which explains the difference but you can see uh, what Perl does its little magic here uh, when I mention different uh, values to be assigned to different variables. So uh, meanwhile I'll open up uh, another terminal, small terminal here and uh, that would be useful. Okay, so let's execute the first Perl.pl and as you can see, as you can see uh, I said 5, x equal to 5, y is equal to 6 and z equal to 7 someone is x plus y which is uh, 6 plus 5 and it printed 11 and sum2 is y plus z which is 7 plus 6 which is 13 and it printed 13 as you can observe a little space here that can be attributed the attributed to the little space after the new line here so if you actually remove the spaces here by the way this space doesn't make any difference. It may have printed space after 11 but you can't see here it's a white space uh, printed here because you can't see space or you, can, you can't you can differentiate space because there's nothing after the space and so it printed sum 1 and then space so to actually differentiate the space I can just print say 1 
or after space. So I'm printing someone, then I'm printing space, then I'm printing after space to just to differentiate that the space is being printed. After which I'm printing new line. And uh, so this space here uh, uh, before 13, you see the space here before 13, um, that was actually due to the space that was there in our previous program. So I just, I'm just removing that space and printing sum2 and slash n. So uh, that apart, apart from that space uh, uh, explanation there, I wanted to mention what's, being, what's going on when you mention a variable in single quotes and double quotes. So as you can see, it seems like it, Perl doesn't care if you mention single quotes and double quotes because it's interpreting the, the, the value 5 as a numeric and adding it to the numeric value 6 here and it printed out 11 here. And also, when you mention 7 in double quotes, it interpreting that 7 as a numeric value when you actually add it here. So during the compile time, it says, okay, Z is uh, numeric, so I think Y should be numeric because it's 7 here. So why don't we go ahead and uh, try to actually get the difference between single quotes and double quotes. So let's say I'll create a new variable single one. This is numeric five. This is the sum of x and or let's say sum of x and y is dollar sum one. My dollar double one is equal to sum of x and y is dollar sum one. So as you can see, I'm just printing new line because then we'll avoid the confusion of seeing the same output on the same line. So I'm saying in the single quotes that sum of x and y is dollar sum one because the value of sum of x and y is stored in variable dollar sum one. So I intend to print the value here instead of sum one. So I, I expect to see in the output sum of x and y is 11. And also, I expect to see sum of x and y is sum 1. And let's just comment this because, uh, or you know what? Let's 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 uh, let it leave because I just explained the the space issues there. So, uh, but I'll just print some new lines so that. Okay, let's save that and let's execute. Oh, I have some syntax error. it says at line 25 <sighs> there you go okay wow I did not expect that because I missed the semicolon here. It's really giving me a big trouble. <laughs> oh yeah, because I mentioned backslash and mentioned nothing. So it's actually escaping the double quote character. Because I mentioned uh, the backslash, it actually escaping the double quote character. So I'll just remove that backslash and this should remove all our errors. Okay, so that's the hello world there. And um, I actually did not print the variables. So that, let's just say print single one then followed by a new line print double one followed by a new line 
Okay. So as you can see here, um, let's just open up that uh, other terminal here. So as you can see here, I mentioned sum of x and y is dollar sum one followed by new line. And it printed exactly the same thing I mentioned between the single codes. So it's not replacing the value of sum one here in the dollar sum one. So whoa, what just happened there? So it's not replacing the value eleven in dollar sum one. Instead it's printing dollar sum one and also it's printing dollar n instead of printing a new line. So, and here, it, 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 in, 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 when I mentioned the sum of x and y is 11 in double quotes, it actually interpreted the value 11 in sum 1 and printed the value 11. So that's the difference I intend to, intended to explain here. So let's remove this uh, single quotes here and put the double quotes so now we should see the sum of x and y is 11 two times because we there we go sum of x and y is two times 11 it printed a new line and and since we asked it to to print a new line here and here it printed two two new lines one new line there and another new line followed by sum of x and 11 and the 11 space after space and the similar changes we made. So that's the main key difference uh, you need to be aware of when using a single code and double code. So uh, that's uh, all for now and in the next part uh, we will learn how to open a file, close a file, write a file, edit a file and read a file. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, please leave comments and suggestions uh, uh, in, the in the comment section of this video. Thank you.